All right, Reed, I'm going to try to answer your question. And um, this is this is the swivel, and I do like the swivel with this device. In fact, I think it's going to be just about required. We'll see. But but um, you're right. There's two options. You can run this swivel, and this one has uh, the small eye that's big enough to put on your bridge. So that can go on your bridge and eliminate the carabiner altogether. Um, and Or I can have the carabiner right here, which makes it um, a lot quicker, of course, to get on and off your bridge. If you're, if you're going to do some redirects and all of that, and you plan on having it come on and off your bridge, then this is probably a better choice. Now, um, I'll try to show you this, but on this device it works out really slick because it's got the slick pin right through there. I guess you can see that. So, you know, you do a typical slick pin and you push those through. Now, I'm going to do this. Normally, I turn it around the other side so it works for me, but because of the width of the body on this hitchhiker, I don't have to reach in here to push in those plungers. All I have to do, and again, this is a little harder for me because I'm not facing it, but all I have to do is turn the pin and the plungers um, disengage. Now, I don't have to do all of them, and I can take the rope out, and of course, then I'm, then I'm off the rope. I can take this off, and I'm off the rope, and I'm, I'm good to go. But notice also, the um, pin doesn't come out. You don't, you don't lose it. Uh, so it can it can be on and off and now to put it back on all I do is get that way you can see it um, all I do is engage or push the rope back in in position and typical um, slick pin you just take the slick pin and push those back through and of course make sure that they are engaged but it works out really well so the difference being now if if for example this is on the bridge in other words I don't have the carabiner anymore um, I can no longer just take and partially disengage the slick pin like right now it's just um, partially disengaged right so there there it's enough to get the rope out but it's not enough to lose the shackle but if I want to take it completely off of the uh, swivel there, then what I have to do, and you know, and it's, it's not that big a deal, but you could drop apart. Now I have to take the whole pin out in order to take that off the shackle. Um, not a big deal. I'm sure you guys may want to put a, a little catch or something on there, but I just don't find that I, I do that. So that's not an issue so so when that when that comes all the way off now I'm dealing with two parts so you know you could drop a part and have to come down on a munter to try to find it um, so that's why I prefer to have the um, slick pin so there's there's back together um, and ready to go you can you could actually you know this is this is kind of a rough edge to put on your bridge, but you could actually put that on your bridge, but then it's, it's not swiveling and it's not in a good position for tending and everything else. So it really needs to be on a swivel. Um, I don't know if I do get this to market. I don't know that, um, that uh, it, will be, it will be available without a swivel. I really think that swivel is important. But whether you attach the swivel to your bridge or breath pass or attach your carabiner to the bridge is uh, is the issue so and I'll see if you can see that but that's how that's how I tend it so so that tends very well from from that point on the shackle now when I'm going up the rope of course there's that much swing in the shackle but it's not much Okay, we tied the running alpine butterfly around 
the uh, down leg of my throw line and I'm going to pull my climbing line up and also I have a, a power cord tag on there because this climbing line is uh, fairly short and the anchor that I'm going up to is up there it's uh, about 74 feet I measured and took me three shots so getting a little better I'm um, gonna pull that through and get on up there So there's the local golfer and I need to have my slingshot so I can sit here and go poing and drop some balls over there and they have no idea where they came from. 